Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Isakovic to the back post header save. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be on our third Ivy League game of the season against Harvard. Uh, we're playing them tomorrow at about 4 p.m. at Harvard, so it's going to be a little di bit of a different video. Um, it should be an exciting game. We won our first game of Ivy League play against Columbia, tied our second game against Cornell, so we just got to stay humble, stay consistent, and hopefully we can finish pretty strong this year. We just got to take it game by game. Um, I believe and have a lot of confidence in this team, so pretty excited for our game tomorrow. Um, but yeah, what it's looking like, we had practice today. Hopefully you guys saw a little bit of footage in the locker room. Just went over film, focus on Harvard. After that, left, had dinner with my girlfriend. Now I'm going to do some work for the rest of the night. Got to stay on top of schoolwork. We're in the middle of midterm season at Brown, so it's important that we're performing on and off the field. So um, that's that's doing well in school and doing well in all my classes and stuff like that. So I'm going to do some work right now. Tomorrow, what it looks like, our tenor is a little bit different because it's not it's an away game, but it's also not like a hotel game. We're not staying overnight anywhere. So uh, we're meeting for walkthrough at like 11-ish. Afterwards, we have like a team meal, and then we're leaving for Harvard right after that. So I'll get as much footage as I can without like without prying too much into what we do and not and distracting us from the fact that we have a job to do tomorrow and that's to win another ivy league game so um that's kind of what it's looking like that's kind of what i've been doing sorry it's a little bit boring um i'm just gonna be doing work for the rest of the night just so i get on top of that have some papers do some exams coming up so i just gotta stay ready for that anyways um i'm gonna do that work right now i'll get some footage and i'll see you guys tomorrow on game day peace morning guys it is now game day against harvard it is now like 11 a.m walking over to the locker room we gotta be there like 11 15 11 30 ish so that we can do set pieces go through walkthroughs all that stuff and then we're coming back in the locker room we gotta pack our stuff make sure we're ready to go got all our uniforms our training gear for before the game um our track suit for it's like an hour 15 drive so we're all wearing the same stuff on the bus and then we're gonna have our team meal we're having like um, some wraps and stuff like that some salads and all that and then uh, we're good to go so i'll record that you guys record the packing all that stuff and then we're heading to harvard and kickoff is at 4 p.m so we're all just ready to go so anyways i'm just gonna go get started with that right now walk over to the locker room and i'll see you guys afterwards peace This shot is tough. This shot is tough? Yes. Say something to the camera, tell them what's going on today. 
Uh, we're playing Harvard today. It's a big game. It's tied them twice in my career, and I really need to beat them. We really need to beat them. So going through walkthrough, we're going to play some soccer tennis, and then we're going to drive to Harvard on the bus, and then we're going to beat Harvard. Have you played at Harvard before? How's their field? Yeah, I have. The field, the field sucks, honestly. There's lines everywhere. Yeah. It's like not even a soccer field. Last time I was there, played 76 minutes and I cramped because it was overtime. So both my calves went. Couldn't walk. Almost had a winner. Derek almost had a winner. Brady should have scored that too. Um, so yeah, hopefully we make things different this time. Damp Jordan Field. This is the Ivy League on ESPN. Two teams in the top of the standings look to take another big step forward as they square off in a massive bout. It's the Brown Bears and the Harvard Crimson alongside Luis Sanchez. I'm Tyler Davey. So happy you could join us for this one. 3 1 win against Stonehill for Harvard. 3 1 win on the road against Columbia in conference play, averaging two goals per game over the last four. So we're underway. We'll get you the starting 11. First, for Josh Shapiro's Crimson, it's Nick White, Jan Riki, Marco Sohe Quintana, Alessandro Arlotti, Harry Moore, Eric Dallaker, Dylan Teato, Matus Vizian, Caro Fujiwara, Ethan Vecti, and Lucian Wood and Ned. Early chance here for Brown. Jan Riki was bumped down. That was Charlie Adams. That Harvard matchup. Harvard was up 2 0, and they ended up making it a closer match than it should have been. And Harvard knows that, right? They, they knew that that was a tough Stag's team down that they were playing against. Charlie Adams. Oh, surprise. Lucian Wood on the way in. Goes down to his left. Reactionary save. Be an in-swinger from the left boot of Barry. To the near post. Wood the punch. And trying to be recycled back in. Always ambitious on the half volley. Is that it? <laughs> Man. Hockey line change almost. <laughs> Into the near post again. Wood just got a punch, cleared off the line. Brown inches away from opening the scoring. How close was that? Harry Moore saved that off the goal line. That was going in. Right back in, off the head of Dallaker. It'll be another corner as Brown really starting to grow. That's an incredible save by Harry Moore. I mean, Wood is on the left side, and Moore has to come, I think, to his right to make that kick out. I'll take another look here. Going to the near post, crowding the keeper. Lucian Wood is down and out on that play, but Harvard scrambling. Header won by Nick White and Gladys there in front of a crowd. No, Gladys was a good boot. We've seen him kick it from the goal. Right now, it's a good decision to come out, even in some traffic, to just grab it, corral it, make sure nothing is on the ground, no deflection. So. So far from the senior who hasn't really seen a lot of playing time in his career, great decision making. Dylan Ellis has checked in for Brown as we're into the last minute. Ellis scored the game winner. And 
that should be that for half number one. Scoreless, not for lack of chances. Brown looking the more likely. Yeah, and just the real number that sticks out so far is zero shots on goal for the Crimson through the first 45 minutes of play. Credit Brown's defense. They've made the adjustments in game. They knew what the game plan was coming into today. Hit the ground so hard. So you see what's coming up and for Brown, you just look at the splits on their schedule. This is only their third road game. They've played seven at home. Traveling is back loaded on the schedule here, Lewis. The dampness thwarts him there. Still on for the Crimson with Sava. The leading scores in Cyprus through his youth academy. Sava all the way through. Well, that's what Josh Shapiro's talking about when he says it is coming for Andreas Sava. Individual excellence there. Looked like he was learning how to salsa there, working through the defense, but couldn't complete it. He wins a corner, which will be taken by Sakovic. Isakovic, the back post header, save Blattis. That was Nick White who got to it. Harvard that close to opening the scoring. Biggest save of the night for Hudson Blattis. Nick White looking for his second goal of the season. Just look how close it was. Served back in, Sava missed on the volley. For under a quarter of an hour to go. Attempt. Header won by Harvard. Top of the 18, now fully cleared. 15 seconds, it's gotta be a quick recycle for Brown. Get it up. Bumped the length by Blattis, and it was flicked on. And for the second year in a row, it's a scoreless draw. The points are shared between Harvard and Brown. Both teams now 1 0 oh, 2. In the Ivy League, Lewis, there was times in this game where both teams were on the incendiary. Nothing to show for it. Yeah, I think it starts off with Brown. This is a team that a lot of people expected to have a down season, maybe a transition year. But Chase Wildman is doing a great job building something down in Providence here with the Bears. You got to be impressed with this result. Brown hasn't won two conference games in two years. They're trying to get to that point. They're one win away from getting there. You're 1 0 and 2 in conference play. That's a good start. On the opposite side for the Crimson. Hey guys, it's now a couple hours um, after our game against Harvard. Overall, it was a decent game. I think we left it off the hook a little bit and uh, we should have won, but um, the final score was 0-0. We had a really good first half, but the second half, I think that we we uh, pulled off the gas a little bit and uh, we kind of let them off the hook. But um, overall, still a good result in Ivy League. Um, like I've always said, it's always a battle. So um, every game, it's it's difficult, it's hard to get a result, get points. So um, on the road at Harvard, getting a point, um, it's not bad, it's not horrible, and we have more games in the future to prove, prove even more of ourselves. So um, yeah, overall it was a long day. It's the end, it's a Saturday, but uh, we have another game uh, this Tuesday against UMass Lowell, which is also a way I'll be recording that. But um, we have to prepare for that already, so tomorrow we have practice at 10 a.m. to get ready for that, and then practice again on Monday, and then we were back at it again on the road. UMass Lowell but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys I was able to get some highlights for you guys I'm not really sure if I was able to get highlights um because it was away and I didn't have any recording but I'll uh, see if I can get something for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you liked it please uh comment like and subscribe to stay interactive for future videos and I'll see you guys in the next one peace